Hi everyone, what I have here for you is uh, the ViewSonic G tablet, which is a uh, Android 2.2 tablet which just came out today. Uh, it's got a, an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, a 512 meg of RAM, 2 gig of tablet storage, 16 gig micro SD card, and an additional free micro SD card slot. So you could theoretically get it to uh, 48 gig of storage. It's running uh, ViewSonic's custom software on top of uh, Android 2.2. I kind of wish they hadn't have done that. Uh, unfortunately, the, the software suffers relative to the hardware. The hardware is quite nice. It, uh, it's a, it's a well-built tablet, um, very solid, uh, no plastic creaking. Uh, it's got a decent weight to it. It's about a pound and a quarter. Um, the port placements are good. You've got a uh, on the left hand side, you've got a power the power switch, um, a micro USB port, the micro SD card slot, and a host USB port. On the front here, you've got uh, the 1.3 megapixel webcam. On the top, you've got the volume rocker, and on the right, you've got uh, the capacitive you've got capacitive buttons, um, which are search, home menu and back. Um, the software that's on it is acting almost like a widget but not quite. You've got weather app which is nice enough looking. It's functional. Um, it's got the today view, an hourly view, and a week view. You can also set multiple locations. I've already taken the liberty of uh, installing Launcher Pro on it, just frankly because I don't like their software. Uh, you have a dedicated news app, which has uh, top stories, US, world, side tech, uh, and entertainment. You can also add additional categories. It's essentially a, a, a RSS feed. Uh, web browser is luckily the stock Android 2.2 browser, WebKit browser, with tab management. You've got a dedicated back forward button, home tab management, uh, favorites, and a dedicated search bar, which is a little bit nice. Let me go back here. And back to Engadget. Uh, it is fairly quick as far as scrolling goes. That Tegra 2 processor really has some muscle. And it is, thankfully, a capacitive touch screen. Fairly responsive. Uh, I've actually still got the screen cover on it, uh, and it's really not affecting it at all. Double tapping doesn't seem to zoom, which is which is Android standard, I believe, or I could just be used to that with uh, HTC Sense on my uh, HTC Incredible. But unfortunately, double tapping does not zoom in; it only seems to zoom back out. Which is a little annoying. Uh, one thing that they added, which I do like, is this button right here is a snap to top of web page. One thing I don't like is, despite it being an Android 2.2 device, for some unfathomable reason, they decided to not put Flash Player. Uh, it says right there, you need to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player to watch this video. Uh, it kind of defeats a large part of why I wanted to buy the device. I wanted to buy this uh, really as an as a ebook reader. Um, as a web browsing device uh, for some Android games and for video and when eventually uh, Netflix releases its Android Netflix app uh, for streaming video but that I think is a mistake um, unfortunately we don't have the Android market we can sideload apps but I'm having uh, some difficulty installing apps I believe that's because the marketplace is not available. Let me show you what I mean. 
if I go to their file manager, I've already loaded some APKs on here. Um, if I want to try to install Angry Birds, now it pops up the installer. I hit install and it just says application not installed. It doesn't give me a reason why. Um, another application that I installed was a pinball app. Let me go back. And it did install, but throws up an error message uh, when I go to run it. Uh, that's something that I'm not sure exactly what it is. I believe it's because the Android market is not on the device, but I can't be 100% sure. Uh, these were APKs that I got from getjar.com. Um, again, not 100% sure why. Calendar is just a basic calendar. Clock app, same thing. You can add additional clocks for different time zones. You've got a to-do list. Uh, the photo app is luckily the stock Android 2.2 gallery. I just threw some sample photos on it from Windows 7 photo samples. Uh, performance is decent. One thing I've noticed is it has a tendency when I go to multi-touch to zoom, it tends to throw me into the slideshow like that. Once I zoom to a certain level, it want, it's, for some reason it wants to put me into the slideshow. I don't know why it does that. I don't have that issue on my smartphone. There we are. Yeah, it keeps trying to put me into that slideshow. I don't know why that is. Yeah, you can see once it hits full screen, it's snapping into slideshow, even though it's not what I asked it to do. But if I manually zoom, no, there it does it again. Enough of that. The good news is this uh, Tegra 2, if I pull up the file browser, I loaded the movie Big Buck Bunny onto the device. And this is a 1280 by 720 HD video, uh, DivX AVI, and it runs just fine. Uh, viewing angles are decent, it's bright, it's fairly crisp. But if I scrub, you see it instantly snapping to the point in the movie that I went to. So performance is good. Um, once, once you're in stock Android apps, performance is quite good. Speakers are reasonably loud. Uh, they don't seem to be quite as loud as, say, the uh, Arcos 101 or the Arcos 70 or even the iPad, but they are they are loud enough that they are functional. <clears throat> I haven't really tried to install many other applications on it yet. I'll have to get back to you with a, a further update. But the device, uh, hardware-wise, I'm very satisfied with. As I said, um, the weight of the device is good, the shape of the device is good, the port locations, the button locations, all very good. But the, uh, unfortunately that ViewSonic software kind of sucks. I really wish the manufacturers would just leave the, uh, the damn software alone uh, and just give us stock 2.2. Now it does have an accelerometer and it is pretty snappy. And it is reflowing the entire website when it rotates. So that that's it's it, again the hardware is the hardware is solid. Um, if I can figure out how to put a uh, stock 2.2 ROM on it, um, I'll definitely do so. But at this point, it's a it's a toy. It can't do some of the things that I really wanted it to do, and I bought uh, bought it to do. So unless I can reflash it in the next week or so, it's unfortunately going to have to go back. Uh, I hope this was a helpful and informative review, and take care.